born in the ICR Art Gallery and I am the director of the gallery, Ilana Costea. And one of the paintings that I like very much in the gallery is this Thea Bear. Uh, she, is, uh, she was an actress, very famous actress in the silent movies. Jerry, can you tell me a little bit about this painting? Well, it was painted in 1963 once I started back to seriously looking at fine arts, up to that point I was very much immersed in commercial art as an illustrator and a designer. And it kind of it carried over here in that I found that I could make more money as a, and be more successful and get my work to look better in commercial art if not, not only did I do the illustration, but I offered a typographic treatment to the work. So yeah, I noticed that you call this painting, as a matter of fact, OL, and you have an OL here in the corner. Why do you call it OL? Well, because that was part of the typography that was in this particular picture, the little OL here. But the rest of it, there's more words here, but what they are, I don't know. And it, it, as I said, it's not important for me to know what this meant, and this means nothing other than the texture. Typography makes an excellent texture for me. That comes out of having to, there was a time when we didn't have computers to set typography, so we had to fake each line of body copy. And we all got very good at like doing little fakes, of fake typography. In fact, if you look at early Picassos and his early, early Cubism and Brasler Cubism, some of those still lifes that they had, had treatments of typography on newspaper, but it wasn't too different than what we were doing already in advertising, to show a comprehensive. Now, you call yourself a heterogeneous artist and the fact that you have all these other more abstract paintings and you also have Thea Bera, which is so different, makes you definitely an artist which does heterogeneous kind of art. Right. So, can you tell me what inspired you to do this particular painting? Well, this is before I really recognized that I was a heterogeneous because I was doing a lot of things that were um, leading up to this. Like? Well, my commercial artwork I was doing. I did Pan American Airlines for 52 consecutive weeks and it appeared full page in the New York Times in the 60s and uh, early 60s, just shortly before this. And, uh, and I was doing things with, you know, type and that sort of thing, but the type was something you could read. When I got to this, then there was no reason for this type to read. This type became texture. And so it shapes against texture. This, I don't really see this as an eye. In fact, if someone suggested I turn the painting sideways and tilt your camera and turn it around so this falls to the bottom. It does not with my camera. <laughs> you turn it the wrong way. I said turn the camera so you see. Heterogeneous also means to use different elements to make something. And you look at this painting, you have a paper element here, which is an enlargement of a photograph, which happened to be appeared in a newspaper magazine. So it's a dot pattern that represents the original reproduction. Uh, you have typography that is paint, acrylic on canvas. Uh, this is all torn paper. Uh, you have white paint, acrylic paint on top of the, on the, top of the canvas on top of the paper, it all works into each other. So you have different pieces of material that all come together and make one composition.